celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your spirit, O Lord, we pray, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts, that he may give us a mind pleasing to you, and graciously conform us to your will. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some of some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called us before the Sanhedrin. My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisee. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And the group became divided. For the Sadducees says, that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar of crowd and some scribes belonging to the Pharisees' party stood up and sharply argued. We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander afraid that Paul would be turned to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have Born witness to me, to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep, keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God. You are my home. Keep me safe, O God. You are my home. Keep me, O God, for you I take. 
take refuge. I said to the Lord, my Lord, are you? O Lord, my Lord, take portion and cup. You it is who hold fast my Lord. Keep me safe, O As you, Father, are in me, and I am you, that the world may believe that you sent me. Alleluia. up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their words, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them, even as you love me. Father, they are your gift to me, I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me. Because you loved me before the foundation of the world, righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you loved me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. That they may all be one as you, Father, are in me 
and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. That's uh, Jesus' famous prayer for unity among Christians. Uh, and uh, we can see the price of disunity in uh, our first reading. St. Paul stirs it up very easily in the Sanhedrin, almost starting a riot. Uh, and uh, uh, moments after this, he'll appeal to Rome, uh, since he's a Roman citizen, and he will uh, uh, be uh, sent off there uh, to uh, uh, make his final case. And of course, that's where he's martyred. The prayer of Jesus that they may be one is in Latin, ut unum sint. And this is a, a famous encyclical, a letter written by uh, Pope John Paul II to the world, uh, which promotes the unity of all Christians, uh, that the divisions we have should end and we should be one visible church here on earth. Uh, and, of course, the Catholic Church is the largest of Christian churches and most widespread across the world, but we truly want to be united with everyone. So we should all do what we can to uh, promote friendship, prayer, uh, um, uh, sharing of our faith with our fellow Christians who are not Catholic, and we should really try and do it all the time. We might say at this time, in the midst of the coronavirus, uh, that that's not possible. But of course, we can be united in prayer and service. I know uh, several uh, 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 people here have worked with other faiths and people of other faiths, uh, especially Sister Anuli is at the chaplaincy at Upstate Hospital. And there, it's Christians working together as well as people of other faiths uh, to uh, uh, truly uh, bring uh, consolation and healing and strength to all those uh, in the hospital. Let's each of us resolve, uh, at least in prayer, to pray and work for Christian unity uh, in this uh, time of the coronavirus. And now let's bring our prayers to God, our Heavenly Father. We pray for the church throughout the world that we may always and everywhere work together as one. We pray for Pope Francis and our Bishop Douglas that they may work for Christian unity with other leaders of Christian churches. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. We pray for all world leaders that they may uh, unite together uh, in working against the coronavirus, and we especially pray for our state and local leaders as they work to uh, reopen society during these different phases of emerging from quarantine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all the sick, especially those dear to us, that in their illness they might become closer to Christ and experience healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for all the dead, especially those dear to us, and in a special way for uh, David McCall, who's remembered in this Eucharist, and we pray for all those who have uh, died during this terrible time of the pandemic, that God may grant them all life, happiness, and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. We pray for all those who uh, work in health care, that God may bless them, doctors, nurses, therapists, support staff, volunteers, chaplains, that we may all be true healers in the spirit as well as the body. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And we pause now to add our own intentions in the silence of our heart. Almighty God, we bring our prayers before you knowing that you will answer them as you do all things through Jesus Christ, who is our Lord forever and ever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. And lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he had plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chest, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, our retired Bishop Robert, and all the priests. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the years, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave, my peace I give. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. The softly show the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Amen. Upon I tell you the truth. It is for your good that I go. For if I do not go away, the paraclete will not come to you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they heard, and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen.